Jordan Peele has brought us his third feature film, and he is going all out, shooting in IMAX, a bigger budget than before. Let's talk about Nope. Hey guys, Dan here. This is Dan Reviews. It. Welcome to my spoiler-free review for the new Jordan Peele movie, Nope. And uh, we, we are very spoiler-free here on the channel when it comes to new movies. But let me stress, I'm not even going to really talk about the plot of this movie much at all. Um, we're, we're really going to focus on just sort of my review of it and talk in, in very vague notions here. Because um, I believe that with, you know, somebody like Jordan Peele, um, who you know, sort of, his movies sort of thrive on not knowing anything before you go into them and not knowing what you're about to see. Um, you know, I didn't watch a trailer for this other than the poster. Um, I didn't, and, and a couple of the actors, I didn't really know anything about this movie and that's how I wanted it. So that's how I'm going to give it to you guys as well. So we're, we're going to talk in, in pretty, uh, pretty generalized statements here about this movie. But before we get into Nope, I do want to welcome you into Dan Reviews It. Thanks for finding this video and a whole lot more where that came from. Please consider subscribing down below there. Would love to have you aboard. Um, and uh, comment below too, because I think this is going to be a talker like most of the Jordan Peele movies. Um, so far we've had Get Out, Us, uh, he executive produced the, the new Candyman movie. That doesn't really count, you know, for his filmography because, uh, you know, directing only is usually what they count for that. So this is the, the third Jordan Peele film. Um, and yeah, they, they all sort of uh, have have a quality about them where you need to think about it afterwards and uh, discuss and and all of that. So um, so yeah, let me know in the comments, did you see this movie and uh, what did you think of Nope? All right, so I will tell you a couple of the actors in it. Um, so we've got Daniel Kaluuya back again. Of course, he was in Get Out. I don't think he was in Us, um, but from, you know, as the legend goes, he was about to retire from the business. Uh, just being so disheartened with, uh, you know, auditions not going well and the parts he was getting and whatever. And uh, Jordan Peele cast him and Get Out and it opened up an entire, you know, new world for him. Judas and the Black Messiah obviously was a huge hit uh, for him. And then he returns as the star of this. And then Kiki Palmer uh, plays his sister and loved her ever since Akila and the Bee back uh, probably now almost 15 years ago. Um, but she has, uh, you know, proven herself to be a, a very worthy actress as an adult as well. And then uh, Stephen Yeun, who uh, got some accolades a couple of years ago in Minari, is uh, sort of the third build here. Um, but really, the, the star, I would say, in this movie uh, is just Jordan Peele himself and the atmosphere and all of that kind of stuff. So I mentioned uh, at, the, at the top that this has a bigger budget than either of his other films, uh, somewhere in the $68 million range, uh, which is, Get Out was made for like four and a half million, very, very low, and I think Us was made for around 20 million. So this is a huge step up, more than more than tripling uh, that last movie. Um, the box office returns, you know, for opening weekend are very strong, but, you know, is it is it gonna make back its budget? Yeah, probably, uh, eventually, but it had a 44 million uh, opening weekend, which sounds like a lot, and it is a lot for sure, uh, especially for an R-rated horror, but uh, Get Out, or um, Us, I should say, uh, premiered with over 70 million opening weekend. So obviously, look, you know, that was a different era. It was pre-COVID, um, but it is interesting to note that this is actually the biggest opening for an original film, and by that we mean not part of a franchise, not part, you know, not from a book, not from a video game, an original movie um, since Us in 2019. Uh, Tarantino came close with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood in the summer of 2019, but it's been over three years since we've had an original film open this big. So even though, yes, it's a step down from us, um, I, I think that is a very strong statement about uh, the power of Jordan Peele as a director and, and the word of mouth um, that, that his, you know, even people before they go see the movie, the word of mouth of, oh, there's a new Jordan Peele movie, I've got to see it. Um, and, and that sort of thing. So, um, yes, bigger budget here, and I think it shows. This is, uh, genre-wise, a sci-fi western, I would say thriller. I would not even quite put this in the horror category uh, with his other two movies, and I'm not sure how it's listed, you know, on IMDb or whatever, but I, I would say it's a sci-fi western thriller uh, and not quite a horror film, um, for whatever that's worth. But yes, it was shot with IMAX cameras, um, and it's it's got 
uh, you know, without getting into any of the plot, really, but it's it's got sort of a, a bent on um, film and uh, the quality uh, maybe that, that we want in, in film and different cameras and, and that sort of thing. So that's kind of a, a nice little touch. Um, so, yeah, it looks great. I would say in terms of the look of this film, it's uh, something that, much like his other films, in, in different ways, I think, um, this is one where it's like, you can't even look away, you know, there, there's so much going on and, uh, beautiful, beautiful landscapes and shots. And, you know, the, the Western motif really gives us a lot to look at on that screen. And, uh, Peel, I think utilizes really every, every inch of that, um, you know, with, with these, you know, really wide scope, um, sort of shots, uh, and frames. So love that, love the look of it. Um, and certain things about the look, again, without getting into the plot, uh, are interesting as well. Um, there's, there's, you know, a lot going on, um, in the sky, let's say. And, uh, I think he's designed some, some very interesting things in that regard as well. And, you know, who, who knows if that's, uh, you know, set designers as well. I don't know if that's all Jordan Peele, but, uh, but in any case, um, you know, he wrote this as well, of course. And so he's, he's really crafted, uh, this story to be what he wants it to be. And I love that. I love that Universal, by the way, gives their directors that, um, power. You know, Shyamalan obviously has, has ebbed and flowed over the years, right? But, um, but sticking with Universal, I mean, they've, they've let him kind of do what he wants. Um, and sometimes the results are less than stellar. Um, and so much so, they're so good about giving creative uh, content over to the directors. Christopher Nolan's new movie is going to be at Universal, because uh, of course he had a big falling out with Warner Brothers after they decided to uh, put a bunch of their movies onto their streaming service, HBO Max. Uh, and, and he was not about that life. Um, so he's now with Universal as well. At the beginning of this, there's like a 40 second trailer for next summer's Christopher Nolan movie. Um, but anyway, the acting here, very, very good. Um, you know, no surprise. Daniel, Daniel Kaluuya, uh, continues to surprise me because I had no idea he was, uh, not American until a couple of years ago, I guess probably on the award circuit for Judas. Uh, or maybe, did he host SNL? Maybe that's how I know. Uh, but in any event, um, you know, his, his like sort of Southern Western accent is fantastic. It's so great. You'd never know. And uh, such a different character as well from the one he portrayed in Get Out. Uh, two complete, completely separate characters. Um, and sometimes, you know, for directors working with the same actor, it's hard to, to do that, but Peel does it here and, uh, Kaluuya on board as well. Um, a lot of interesting things with, uh, with sound here and, and, um, you know, different elements such as that that really work. Um, now, there are some negatives here as well. I think, like the previous films, specifically Us, I think, more than Get Out. Get Out, I think, was so straightforward. Um, it was, you know, great, and I loved it. It's my favorite of the three. Um, but much like Us, I think there's a lot of questions unanswered about this movie. Um, and, you know, you may want to delve into some articles or some, some videos about it on YouTube or, or hear Jordan Peele speak about it, um, which is what I did after Us. About a week after I saw Us, there was a video I saw on YouTube where Jordan Peele kind of explains everything that's going on. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Now I get, I get some more things. Because this, I think, left me with more questions than answers by the end of it, um, which is the same with Us. And uh, that's not a bad thing necessarily, um, because if what I'm seeing is engaging and, and fascinating and uh, cool to look at, um, then sometimes those questions don't don't bother me as much because it's okay. Well, Peel wanted it open to interpretation or whatever, but um, certainly I would have liked a little bit more, uh, maybe in the terms of answers in this movie. But um, also, I would say maybe a little more character development could have been nice. I, I don't. I think we got a whole lot of that. We didn't really get a lot of that in us, I felt either. Um, but you know, maybe characterization and characters uh, is not necessarily what Peel is going for. I think it's probably not, um, to be honest. But look, uh, you know, he has been very outspoken in saying, you know, he he wants to emulate John Carpenter and he wants to emulate Alfred Hitchcock. And I think this movie really does give us a, a lot of those sort of feelings of, you know what's going on, like in The Thing, for example, from John Carpenter. And then with Hitchcock, you know, you have a lot of these, you know, sweeping uh, shots and stuff like North by Northwest and some of his uh, more 
more wider scope films than just, you know, oh yeah, she's in the shower and, and getting stabbed in Psycho. And I love Psycho, but, um, you know, certainly by the time North by Northwest came around, it was more of a, of an epic movie. And I feel like that's, uh, kind of what this is, is trying to emulate. So look, overall, uh, this is a very, very good movie. Um, I, I think it's sort of a sliding scale thus far for Jordan Peele. Get Out is an A for me. Uh, Us was an A minus. Um, and, and I'm going to put this one right below it. I leave Nope with a B plus. And there you go. I talked for 10 minutes and didn't tell you one thing about the plot. So that, that is how you know I like to uh, keep my channel pretty spoiler free here. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, go see Nope. It's very, very interesting. And uh, let me know in the comments what you thought. Thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Dan Reviews It.